Hi guys, welcome to another beer review. Yes, it's take two. In fact, it's uh, day two of me trying to attend this beer review because I tried to record it last night, um, which last night's up that way, if you didn't know. But uh, my phone just died and then would not turn on for about an hour afterwards. So uh, yeah, that was uh, pretty annoying. Thank God I picked up two bottles of this. So we're going over to the Box Steam Brewery over in Wiltshire in the UK of course and this is a bottle of the uh, funnel blower which uh, the name I know there's it's childish but it, it gives me a giggle every time I see it uh, so yeah this is described as a dark vanilla porter clocking in at 4.5% uh, yeah pick this up from Lidl here in Germany they were doing a sort of like a special where they had this and the uh, the IPA that um, box steam do but unfortunately they didn't have a bottle of that so i just picked up two bottles of this for 99 cents i'm near gonna complain um don't know why i went into scottish then i've been watching a lot of still game damn you james uh so uh yeah before i get into this beer go check out james of course rapid libraries but i'm dedicating this beer review to brett over at beardy beer review so again he's sat over there apparently um, yeah, great guy. Um, when I told, when I posted the photo in like the Lidl brochure for the stuff that they're selling the, the, during the week, because I have like specials each week, that sort of thing, themed weeks. I'm not sure if they, they do that back in the UK, but I know you can get some like really interesting like Belgian box sets in Lidl in the UK, and of course they've got a really surprisingly good range of beers anyway. So when I was posting this in our little UK beer tubers Facebook group, uh, Brett was just instantly tell me that this was an absolutely lovely porter so uh yeah dedicating this beer review to him because he's a great guy does great reviews i wish i could make beer reviews that short and uh, yeah not only is he a great guy does great reviews but he's also got a uh, great taste in beer and of course music so uh yeah go check him out and yeah don't get to check out james as well because he gets he gets a little bit lonely so, uh, yeah, I'll stop doing this terrible Scottish accent, don't worry. So, uh, yeah, beer's already in the glass. So, uh, in terms of the colour, it's a lovely dark colour on camera, but when you hold it up to the light, you do get lovely, um, well, uh, ruby hues coming through. Of course, the lighting has uh, subsided a lot uh, since I started recording this video, so it just looks like a dark brown to me. Uh, but yeah, it's not a pale looking porter like these can be. They, they have this like sense of thinness sometimes when I get these uh, like British brewed porters at around 4.5%. And it was those porters that were like, oh, I'd rather have a stout. But um, yeah, I've come to really appreciate the style a hell of a lot more. I mean, of course, thanks to the likes of like uh, Imperial porters, which uh, pretty much aren't they just pretty much stouts? I, I don't know. It's amazing how different styles can just... Uh, constantly blend into each other and uh, boundaries are always blurred but uh, yeah it's a lovely looking beer no head to be honest just uh, a lining around the edge of the glass uh, but when there was a head it was about one finger's worth of a slightly like beige head with lovely compact bubbles so let's uh, give it a sniff And it's got this lovely, like, black forest gatto aroma to it. It's like a... It's, it's, it sounds amazing uh, when I say this, but it's like a, a black forest gatto mixed with a tiramisu. Because you get the chocolate that you'd get from a black forest gatto, and of course the chocolate that you get from the cocoa powder from a tiramisu. You get the, like, the dark cherries from the um, black forest gatto, but... There's lovely gentle coffee tones in there, lovely like roasty, malty, cakey sort of sweetness as well. Yeah, it is really providing uh, quite a, a lovely aroma. But yeah, that lovely gentle coffee tone is just, it's just, it just puts the icing on the cake for me. And it's got a lovely rich indulgent scent to it. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, see what it tastes like. Cheers, James. Cheers, Brett. And cheers to you all. Mm. 
That's a lovely beer. That really, really is. I'll get my only complaint out of the way first. And it's not like named at the brew themselves it's more about the style in general but when i have porters like this at this abv they just seem a little bit too thin for my palate uh, it's not watery or anything like that for the style it's pretty damn spot on it's actually really light and crisp um, and it's amazing how a body like that can carry all of those flavors It's really the only downside to this beer, but flavour-wise, definitely get lovely gentle coffee tone in there. Lovely cakey, like brown sugar, molasses, treacle sort of flavours. It's almost got this sort of like porridge oats flavour to it as well. And uh, yeah, you do get a slight hint of vanilla, although it's not as pronounced as you would expect it to be. Which is kind of good because I do like uh, vanilla as a flavour profile in a beer, in a dark beer of course, but vanilla itself, it can be a little bit too overpowering for me. But this, the, the balance is spot on. Lovely, like, hoppy bitterness on the back end, finishes a little bit dry, it reminds me of like, um, like uh, a cigar almost, or cigarella, it's really the only experience I've had with a cigar. But yeah, and you get these lovely, very slight berry tones in there. You know what? If you've had a big meal, like a big roast dinner on a Sunday, skip the dessert and have a couple of bottles of this because um, that light body carries all of those flavours perfectly and it doesn't finish too heavy, so it's not going to overwhelm or anything like that. Very, very drinkable. Um, especially with those flavors so that is a plus side to the actual style itself but um yeah 99 cents for an imported beer from the uk here in germany you know even if you're not the biggest fan of this beer when you drink it you really cannot complain and um you know, I made the mistake of posting that same photo from the Facebook group uh, to the UK company, I mean the UK Craft Beer Forum page. And they, of course, are like ripping the brewery apart and like going, oh, well, you're excited about this being available in Germany and all that? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about any new and intriguing beer for me to be available. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's Green King, Cloudwater, Vedant... Northern Monk, more beer company, you name it, it doesn't matter if they've made their way to Germany and are available for the German consumer. I think it's a great thing. Uh, it doesn't matter which side of the spectrum it's on. Um, it's all about the choice and it's great to see Germany not only having a thriving craft beer community in its own right, but some of the beers that I've been seeing arriving in Germany over these past couple of years it's just it's just amazing and for me personally as a reviewer on youtube of course i'm gonna lap it up and you know what 99 cents for an imported beer from the uk in a 500 ml bottle that actually tastes really nice is a very solid drinking experience why would you ever complain about that so, uh, yeah, I think this is an absolutely lovely beer, and um, I'd be definitely interested in picking up more bottles of it, uh, especially when I'm back in the UK, see how available it is in my local area, in a sunny old Skelmersdale, um, which, uh, yeah, sort of having Skelmersdale weather right now. Mm. Beer, that's a lovely beer. Um, I can't complain uh, or pick out too many negative things it's just a little bit light but not watery at the same time so um but like i said that's just with the style itself for a lower abv porter but yeah, perfect autumnal beer perfect dessert beer especially if you've had a big indulgent meal beforehand and uh yeah these guys are a brewery that i'll definitely be checking out a lot more when i get the opportunity to 
So if you've tried this one, as always, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Um, give me some suggestions of some British real ale or British craft porters that I should look out for. Um, yeah, just hit me up in the comments down below. Check out the website uh, for these guys and all their various social media. Of course, go subscribe to James at Rampant Live Beer Reviews and Brett at Beardy Beer Reviews. Two great guys and uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I hopefully will see you all later. Cheers. Terrible review. And I can't even turn the fucking...